information will be said, and if you hear them, you go like that. And the victory hot line they bring them come to you. I beg you go help us to share, help us to like, and help us to subscribe. I beg. Hello, my people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I pray that God will be with you. But there is this disturbing news that came from Anambra. Of course, it will be disturbing to the ear of Nigerian government. But to us, hmm, we say, hence, they are there on uniform. And our land is still in chaos. Even they had kidnapping, they had banditry, they, did, they do a lot of things against our people. They do a lot of things. They kill our people without reason. So, anything that see them should carry them. That is our own talk. So, they said they are yet, they are yet to identify Arsenal and any name they like. Let them call. But the major news is that Obin the police station in Orumba South, local government area of Anambra State is on fire, attacked by our Imagono Hemchoriku. So some sources and residents in that area said these people stormed the station uh, facility in early hours of Monday, shooting several into the air be before forcefully gaining entrance into the premises. He said, according to the source, during the attack, some of the police officers were shot dead in Hugonia as the people caught them on our ways, while some part of the premises were set ablaze using improvised explosive device. In a disaster that before them, because these people are criminals. One of the eyewitnesses said the masked people shot several into the air as they marched towards the gate of police premises. It happened early morning and it was the gunshot that woke the neighborhood up and sent panic into the air. And they said, enter them on our ways. You see, you see the conflicting media that we have. Said they shot and injured the police officers as they forcefully entered the premises. The incident happened within a short space of time. They burned some part of the building and were about to cause more mayhem before the attack was repelled in an exchange of gunfire by the police officers on duty, after which the hoodlums, they said the people, escaped back into their hideout. The latest attack is coming less than a month after some people again attack Oba Oba Police Divisional Headquarters and Oba Civic Center in Idemili South local government area. It's a during which a police corporal was killed and several others injured. The facility was also set ablaze. The spokesperson of Anambra State Police Command, uh, SP Dochuku Ikenga, confirmed the incident in a statement saying the police have launched a, a manhunt on the fleeing people. Hmm. Ikenga said the Joint Security Forces com comprising of the police, Army, Navy, Civil Defense and other security agencies recovered five Unexploded improvised explosives are on the rail trail of the the people and armed armed um, so let me tell you let me tell you the names they are calling here is not actually what I'm reading you know. and they are calling a lot of names to the indigenous people who are defending their land. Let me tell you, okay? We are not we are not fools. If we say we have police and army and civil defense and air force and this and that, what is their work in that region? They are busy fighting freedom fighters. They call indigenous people uh, hoodlums, they call them assonists, they call them this, they call them that. This same modus operandi is what we have been using against these people. 
That is what they were doing to our people for a very long time. And when our people say it is over, truly, truly, it is over. They are telling you that they have a new government, that you should pack your load and go. We don't want your control. We have a new government. Hence, our governor, one of the governors, of course, the Anambra governor, told the indigents, told them that they are no longer seeing oil money, that oil money has been taken away from them suddenly by this government. This is terrorist government. This is government of theft. What happened to the oil money that is meant to come for the people to for the governors to use to set up basic amenities. You siphon this money. You are no longer giving it. And you are calling yourself government to our region. We reject it. We are not fools. Every time. Until all of you will run away from that land. You will run away. You have to run. Because that land that does not belong to you, and you are not doing good work in that land, you are rather siphoning our people, doing extortion, begging for arms, begging for money there, using guns to grab their money by force. You catch their phones, you search their phones, you do a lot against our people. You are trampling upon the freedom of our people. You are making us slaves in our own land. All this we have known. And we say yeah, and we say no to that, that it will not continue. As we are telling you no, no is no. December still remains the date that Biafra will be declared and Biafra will be defended. Start now to pack your things and go. If you don't want to lose your life in that job you are calling police work, resign and run away. Tell them to deploy you in other states. Tell them to remove you to other states. But you see, this, the eastern region states, you are not safe there, as I can see. You are not safe and you will never be safe there because they see you as enemies. The saying that police is your friend is not for southeastern as well. No, it's not for us. Police has been our enemies ab initio from the beginning. They have been our enemies, so we don't even use better eye to look police. We don't use clear eye to look them. That is why you see these men retaliating. We are calling them hoodlums, calling them assholes, we call them terrorists, we call them bandits. If you like, combine seven names together and make a sentence and call them. That does not do, uh, stop what they have in mind against you. You know it. This one I'm saying is just, you know, just a peripheral part of it. These guys are angry. Our land is angry against Nigerian government. Our governors are confused. They don't know whether to support us or to be with those that are oppressing us to the point that Soludo had to speak up. He said, Oye money is no longer coming. Oh, that they are not seeing this money. Oh. He opened up. No longer pretense. That hope was or they is pretending because he sold his soul to demons and to enemies of Biafra. And so we shall trample upon that particular soul. That is how it is. No need of pretense in any form. My people, that is the news. And that is how I want to give it to you right now. Raw, undiluted. Very rough. Yes, that is how it is. I want you to stay glued, more will unveil.